Hey guys, what's going on? Russell here bringing you guys another player review today, and today we got a review of the Silver Man of the Match center back from the Orlando Pirates, the South African Sanguini guys. And this guy is an absolute beast for a silver center back. Um, even for a gold center back, he'd actually have some pretty decent stats. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of his face card stats. So 71 pace, guys, 64 dribbling, 52 shooting, 78 defense, 50 passing, and 79 heading. And the most notable stats as a defenseman, guys, 71 pace, 78 defense, and 78 nine heading especially on a silver card that is absolutely amazing um he's very good in the air he is a very good center back he actually is a very good uh, dynamic duo you guys can place him with and uh, when i do come out with my squad builder that i did incorporate this man in um you guys will get to see who i added in there to uh, link up with him and you guys will see how good they were together um they were absolutely excellent i'll get more talking about that um in the video when i do do a squad builder but let's get to the main guy who is siabonga sanguini um i do believe that that's how you pronounce it. So, three-star week of a guy, some two-star skill moves. Not that it really matters. He is six feet tall, so that is very good as well, as he can go in and out of the defense. And uh, he's very, not the defense guys, but the attack of the other team. He can play defense, and he is very tall, so he can get the headers and uh, jump really high, and he has some very good in-game stats as well. So, overall, this guy was absolutely amazing. He did run me a lot of coins, seeing that he is a man of the match silver, and I do believe he is the only man of the match silver that is in the game as of right now. So, he is 215,000 coins, but I believe he is selling for around 190,000 coins at this moment in time on the Xbox, guys, um, and I would believe it'd be a little more expensive on the PS3. So, let's go ahead and look at some of his in-game game stats so 80 heading accuracy which is pretty good um 86 marking which is excellent especially for a silver center back and i have a really good clip where i'm going to show you guys how he did mark 90 shot power as a center back which is pretty cool as well um but mainly guys he's a very good marker he's a very good um you know player in 90 stand tackle which is definitely you know evident in how he does on the defensive end of the pitch he's very good guys um he was I don't know, he was absolutely excellent, especially for a silver center back. I was really excited because he is South African as well, and it's pretty cool to have a good center back like that. So, 73 acceleration as well, 80 jumping, which is good with the heading, um, 82 strength, so he's fairly strong on the ball, and he can outstrength most of the attackers um, that do go ahead against him. So, 80 aggression as well, so he wants the ball, he wants to get angry, and has 79 interception. So, pretty good player overall. Now, this, seeing that this is a center back, guys, we are going to be doing it a little bit differently. So, what I'm going to do is, you guys are going to see this, and I'm going to put have a little bit of an arrow pointing to uh, the player that is Sanguini, so you guys can be able to follow him a little bit easier. I do not have Sony Vegas, so it is a little rough for me. Um, I cannot edit out. I can't put like circles around the player so you guys can follow him. So uh, instead, I'm going to be putting an arrow for you guys to check it out, and uh, you guys can see which player is Sanguini and how he does. So very good standing tackle, as you guys can see right there. So that is why the screen pauses for about five seconds, so you guys can have some time to uh, take a look and see where he is on the field, and uh, you know where he'll be and how he moves, um, because mainly that's what you guys want to look for uh, the defense that I had on this team was very solid and uh, Sanguini being in the middle I did have him in the middle and if you guys didn't notice I believe I used him in a 3-4-1-2 formation which actually has come to one of my favorite uh, formations on ultimate team it's very underrated uh, very overpowered if I do say so myself because it's got the aspects of a 4-3-1-2 in it uh, but it also only has three at the back which seems to be actually better in ultimate team uh, mainly due to the fact that the center backs don't get out of position um, especially Sanguini he did not get out of position Beautiful tackle right there, and that is against Mesa Ozil, guys, a BBVA player um, who is on Madrid. He's a very good player in this game, so as you guys can see, this guy can compete against basically anybody, and um, he is very good. He's very pacey. Um, he does have 71 pace, I do believe, and 78 defense. For those types of stats as a silver, um, it's absolutely ridiculous. You guys just saw that he won a header um, right there. I tried to show you a little bit of everything. Let me know if you guys do like these... Um, Kind of defensive uh, man of the match or player reviews, I guess you could say, because I don't know how many more defensive uh, guys will be getting a man of the match card, because typically they like to do the attacking players uh, for their goals. I Sanguini might have scored some goals um, against you know the team in the African Cup of Nations, but I'm not really sure. As you guys can see, beautiful interception right there. Uh, great marking to run down the side of the field with the other player, and uh, just a great standing tackle. As you guys can see, he just stole the ball away. Um, you guys can see that with the arrow right on him. So he's a very good player, and uh, I was very happy with him. If you guys do like you know these type of defensive reviews, let me know because um, I have noticed that not too many people do these on YouTube. Um, I believe it is one of those things that people don't really know how to do um but you know what people do say your offense is your best defense or your defense is your best offense guys um so if you can stop players on the field if you can stop them from scoring um and you only score one goal you're gonna win the game regardless so 
getting those informed center backs, getting those pacier center backs. Uh, that's that's one thing that you really want to do. So if you guys do, if you guys are interested in these uh, defensive minded, um, you know, player reviews, I would love to do them for you guys because I have ultimately become a uh, player review squad builder channel. Uh, to that effect, I do have a one series running right now, which is the Avengers. Uh, but I got to sort some things out with that. But uh, I have been coming out with so many player reviews for you guys. You guys seem to be liking them. So uh, I'm more than happy to do so. So um, he is very good. Look at the standing tackle that he does do right here. Um, you know, he's just going to go right by them. Unfortunately, he wasn't fast enough to catch up to the second man. Uh, but nonetheless, he did very good. As you guys can see, he's on the ball right now being pointed at by the arrow and he's going to be able to demolish uh, or at least get in front of him um, that's the marking that's where the really good marking comes in um, as you guys can see that the um, he wasn't really there entirely but uh, nonetheless he did he was able to stop the good cross from coming in so he did stop a goal and uh, he wasn't actually on anybody in this but he did or that was a beautiful beautiful slide tackle as you guys can see um, but there was one clip where he showed the marking he just basically ran with the guy and the other center back got um, in front of the other guy that I did pair him up with I don't want to give things away because uh, you know it was a lot of fun and he was very good very underrated so hopefully you guys did enjoy this review on Sanguini if you guys did like this type of review let me know in the comment section below I'd be more than happy to do some more for you guys uh, because I did have a lot of fun and he's a great player so thank you guys for watching if you guys did enjoy make sure to leave a like but until next time guys this has been or so and have a good one.